daily grind Create yourself is what you'll find me doing every day and every night No time to lose, one day, one step In the right direction, I'm Chris and I'm only here to show you If I can do it, you can do it too Welcome back to the vlog. It is Thursday, another day, another chance to push hard. And the topic for this vlog is a car vacuum comparison. So let's get it. By the way, all the product reviews right here. Watch them all. But before we get started, love goes out to all my subscribers. Thank you for making my life special and worth living to the max. So let me try to give back with a sweet, sweet video. Right, right. In the last video, you can check it out right here. I gave this thing a review and I said, well, I'm not that impressed. So let's get to the topic. A comparison between this vacuum right here for 12 bucks from the Chinese Amazon link below and also this thing right here from Zayn Tools. Zayn Tools? I don't know. I got this for a review. So this is like kind of part two of this review. This one is rated 120 watts, but you never know if that's true or not. Could be, could not be. There is also a thing like motor efficiency. If this is just a bad motor, it could draw 120 watts, but it might yield the same result as this 60 watt motor right here. Regarding the form factor, this one is of course bigger this one is definitely shorter but also thicker the construction itself this one is definitely way more rigid this one oh no it's oh yeah well you have to pay you have to pay close attention to screw it on perfectly otherwise this will come off very easily you know just like that and then you will spray the dirt everywhere compared to this this is actually quite hard to remove you need to push here and you need to push very hard Ugh. and then this whole thing comes off oh i actually forgot this is not too bad actually this thing right here has a valve in here that is very intelligent so that the dust doesn't come out there is no valve here but there is another approach i i would say it does come out a bit though but this valve is not perfect either but what you can see right here is that this thing well this is actually a proper filter right here and it stays in place so the dust won't just fall out on the on the other side off oh, filter comparison right here so that is obviously like just a piece of fabric wrapped around it this is a looks like a proper filter to me oh by the way both of them are rated for wet and dry dry is probably a really stupid idea for both of them i would not suggest even trying it so the compartment construction of this one feels slightly superior to me way more rigid <laughs> or maybe not i don't know it is it just wasn't put together the right way but there is no led this one has an led but i'm not able to turn it off i cannot find a switch or something like that maybe it's supposed to come off when you turn oh it's supposed to come on when you turn on the vacuum but it's clearly not sound check Okay, that is clearly way different. <laughs> I haven't used this in quite a while, so I forgot how it sounds. It takes quite a while for it to rev up to full speed, apparently. This one. More like instant on. Both of them are quite loud, actually. Okay, right here. This is a voltage display of my car battery. Currently at 12.4, so let's see how much this will drop the voltage. Okay, down to 12, and the other one down to 12 as well. So that is just for fun, I guess, not very scientific right here. Next up, let's compare the accessories. Well, with this one, you get the tube, and this piece right here, and this piece. Right, right. With the other one, you also get a tube, and also this, and this. I really like this brush thing. This is awesome. Fairly similar. When you compare these, they're like almost similar. But this brush thing is clearly superior in my opinion. Especially, this is amazing for this fabric down in the footwell. It's amazing. This one isn't too bad either. But I would still give the point to this thing right here. I'm not sure if there was something else. Well, it doesn't really matter. These two are all that you need. When it gets to attaching the accessories, I actually like this one a bit more. Because it will snap in and then well it's able to turn a bit and it will follow your movement so that's nice i like that and when you get to this one the connection is a bit more stable i think it won't follow your movements but it's it's rigid well the black one is 12 bucks the other one i don't know how much nine bucks maybe if it's more than that i would not buy this thing 120 watts Again, 60 watts, we'll get to that in a second. LED versus no LED. Well, in my case, neither of them has an LED. So 
Let's suck up some dirt, I would say. So right here, this is fairly loose debris. Let's see what we can do with this attachment. And without an attachment. Oh wow, this thing is clearly weak, but it's actually not too bad. It's actually not too bad. Uh, it's just so hard to get it off. Okay, there, there it is. Okay, as you can see, it will just fall out. This approach is kind of flawed as well, but yeah. Just don't expect too much from a cheap car vacuum. Nice. Here comes this one. Let's screw it on perfectly. Yeah, that's it. Let's go. Oh my god! Oh my god! It totally came out of. I just blasted the freaking dust in my face. Oh my god, it's totally coming out of here. Okay, without the attachment, let's try that. Yo, not too bad, not too bad. Oh my God, oh, oh my God. So as you saw, the suction is actually quite similar in my opinion. I was actually expecting that because, yeah, I was just expecting that <laughs> from past experiences, I guess. But the fact that the dust was splurting out of here, blasting out of here, that is a no-go. Oh my God, it is so dirty, like everywhere. This filter right here is Terrible. It is actually really, really bad. Before I get to my suggestions, improvements and stuff like that, let's actually compare the length of the cables. Okay, right here. Oh, oh my God. Okay, so the red one is shorter by about a meter. Yeah, this is, ac this is actually a meter right there. So my improvements for this one, first of all, this thread right here needs to get way much 45. This needs to snap in place and this is bad. This is this is not a joy to work with. Secondly, this filter is a no-go as well. As you saw, the dust just comes through, blasts out of the side again. This is basically the opposite of cleaning. Thirdly, a separate switch for the LED might be an idea. This is obviously aiming for a... Well, I think this is aiming for for a higher quality product with this LED and stuff like that. So why not go for that? Because I do not think that this will go for nine bucks per piece. I think like maybe 15 bucks and that is no. Yeah, this is just no. But it was, a, it was an interesting test and I wanted to find out for myself which one to keep in the car. And I will after this obviously keep this one. Again, both of them are listed and linked in the description below. This could be a great product, no question about that. I like the LED idea, but in this current state, I would not suggest to buy this. This needs improvements, but yeah, could be a good product. No question about it. As you saw, I have this little voltage thingy right here going on and I also improved my footwell light. So in the next vlog, I will get to my a car update because this is the second part of a, well, of a, a tiny trilogy. Reviewing the vacuum, comparing the vacuums, actually deciding which one to keep in the car. And then in the next vlog, I will show you where I store it and I will show the rest of my stuff <laughs> because that's enough for this vlog. Smash that like button the way I'm <laughs> definitely going to get smashed this time by the guy who sent me this vacuum. Bang the bell like crap to never miss product reviews. Check the recent news on chrisviral.com. And yeah, that's it for today. I will see you tomorrow.